Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an excellent day today. In this video, we're checking out two of the most popular entry-level guitars of all time. We've got a Squire Affinity Strat and the Yamaha Pacifica. Now this is a question that comes up all the time in the comments section. So today what we're gonna do is look at these two models top to bottom, front to back. We're gonna pull out the pick guards, look at the electronics, and of course, do a head-to-head -head playing comparison. So today I'm gonna break up our comparison into four parts. I'll put the times in the video description below. Feel free to skip ahead to you know whichever section you wanna see. So we're gonna start with an external comparison of these two models, see what's different between them. Then we're gonna tear them apart and look at the internals for part two. Part three is gonna be our head-to-head -head playing comparison and part four will be final thoughts and recommendations. Now for people who are unfamiliar with these models, the Affinity is basically Squire's second cheapest guitar. You have the Bullet and then you have the Affinity. This is a very popular guitar. Uh, it should be noted that the body is not full thickness of you know, a traditional Strat. It's a thinner body, which can cause some trouble when you're upgrading parts. Uh, but yeah, super popular guitar for a reason. It's great. Now the Pacifica, this is the 112J, uh, which is similarly priced. Now I'll put a graphic up of you know, some of the other Pacificas just because I think people might not be as familiar. But the next version up of this guitar is the 112V. That features Alnico pickups, okay? And the cheapest one, the 0112, I think it is. Anyway, it's got an Agathas body. So this is kind of like right in the middle. You get the alder body, maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, but you get, I think, cheaper pickups than the 112V. So let's start by checking out the Pacifica. Now on its face, it kind of just looks like another Strat, but it really is different in many ways. The Pacifica was designed to be the entry level Super Strat. So in what ways is the Pacifica a little bit of a Super Strat? Well, first of all, they've redesigned the whole Strat concept. So we only have one string tree, which is always good. Fewer friction points is always appreciated. Uh, the neck is very flat. So where the Squire will have a nine and a half inch radius, which you know, feels very fendery, we're all used to that. Uh, the Pacifica has very, very flat, more like an Ibanez or a Les Paul. So it feels very different to play and it's very fast. Um, the other thing is on the design, uh, your horns are much thinner. We'll look at the, you know, the affinity in a second so that you can see the difference, but much thinner and uh, I don't know, a little bit more angular looking, especially on the cutaway here. It's not really a soft contour. I'll try to catch that in the light. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of like a really hard line that comes there, which again adds to that angular look. Um, every single model is humbucker single single. So on the affinities, almost every model is all single coils and there's a few humbucker single singles like I have today out there, um, but the vast majority is single coils. So that's another thing that makes this a little bit of a super strat. Every single model is either humbucker humbucker or humbucker single single. Now controls are simplified, just a uh, volume and a tone, and you might notice something's missing. There is no front facing jack, like on a Strat, it is on the bottom. So those are some of the main ways that it differs. Now when you look at the Affinity, you can see it's a much more rounded design, very classic looking or vintage looking, you know, something we're all used to seeing. Uh, it only has 21 frets. I should mention that the Pacifica has 22 frets, which is, you know, another nice upgrade. Other than that, really classic design. Uh, let's talk about some of the similarities. So both of these instruments are manufactured in Indonesia. Both have maple necks with rosewood fingerboards and alder bodies. Now in terms of hardware, both of these guitars have the exact same tuning machines. Since both guitars were made in Indonesia and these tuning machines don't just look similar, they look identical. Odds are they came from the same plant, so no advantage there. Um, the trem systems, we won't really know until we tear them apart, but externally they look very similar. Six screw vintage uh, systems. The Pacifica has bent steel saddles, like actual ones, and there's some sort of molded saddle that's made to look bent steel on the Affinity, um, but it's not. All right, so let's start with part two. We're gonna take the strings off. We're gonna pull the pick guards out. We're gonna look at the trim systems, basically look at every aspect that we can internally and see if one guitar has an advantage. All right, so let's start by removing the strings on the Squire. That'll give us access to the pick guard and the pickups, electronics, trim system, etc. So here we go. So with the strings off, we're free to remove the screws holding on the pick guard. So let's go ahead and do that. All 
Okay, now for the moment of truth, let's remove the pickguard and see what's underneath. All right, so I've propped up the pickguard so that we can take a good close look at these pickups. And these really remind me of the old Mexican standards. So basically you have metal slugs that are your pull pieces and two ceramic bar magnets glued to either side of the pickup. Now the middle pickup is constructed in the same way as the neck pickup, but doesn't seem to have the copious amounts of adhesive as the neck pickup does, uh, but the same style of single coil pickup. So here's a look at the humbucker in the bridge position. The only marking on it is a stamped R, so we can't really tell too much about that, but let's look at the pots and the switches. Let's take a close zoomed in look at the electronics. So here you can see we've got small dime sized alpha branded pots. These are 500K, which I guess is unsurprising since we've got a humbucker in the bridge, but oftentimes 500K is too bright for a traditional single coil. So we'll have to see how that affects the tone. And here's a closer look at our five-way switch. Nothing fancy, but really common on lower end guitars. Now another feature on this guitar that really reminds me of the old Made in Mexico series is that the pull pieces are radius to the neck. And I've always found these pickups, at least on the Mexican guitars, very balanced from string to string. So they don't have that vintage stagger, but just that perfect radius to match the neck. So again, once we plug it in, we'll find out if it's really balanced or not. Uh, but from just the first look, it looks like it will be. All right, now that we've seen what's underneath the Squire, let's go ahead and open up the Yamaha and check it out. All right, moment of truth number two, let's see what's underneath. Now taking a look at the Yamaha here, right away you can see we've got a different style of pickup. So on the Squire, we had those two ceramic bar magnets on either side of the pull pieces. Here on the Yamaha, we've just got the one big magnet on the bottom. So same kind of thing applies where the pull pieces are just metal slugs and the magnets are glued to the bottom. Now as for the humbucker on the Yamaha, here you can see it's stamped Samshin, and then it's got the little R stamp there as well, and a bunch of waxy goop kind of crapping out the bottom of the pickup. So there you go. So here you can see the electronics are identical to the Squire. We've got dime-sized Alpha brand 500K pots. Now as you guys can see, the Pacifica has a plastic housing on the five-way switch, unlike the Squire, which has a metal housing. Now, just like the pull pieces on the Squire pickup were radius to its fingerboard, same thing with the Yamaha here, but it's quite a bit flatter. But you can see those middle pulls are a little bit higher and a little lower on either side to accommodate with the strings kind of coming over. And a nice little bonus on this guitar, I'll just change the focus here over to the humbucker, if I can do it. There it goes, okay. Uh, anyway, you can see we've got adjustable screw pull pieces on this humbucker, whereas on the Squire, they were both kind of just set pull pieces. So that's a nice little bonus. Now let's take a peek at the trim system here. So pretty much standard Squire fender stuff. We've got two screws that hold the whole system into the body, then the spring claw, then we've got three individual springs into the trim block. Now this block is uh, pretty narrow and rough cast. And I should mention that the affinities, uh, the bodies aren't full thickness either. So not only is this block very thin, but it's very shallow because of the body thickness. Now looking at the trim system on the Yamaha, it looks almost identical to the Squire. So we've got our two bolts holding it in, the spring claw, three springs, and a very, very thin block. Now right here, hopefully you guys can see, there's a little extension on this block for where the trim arm attaches. That's a little bit different. Uh, the Squire is kind of all one piece and the Yamaha has that little block. Um, it's also got a code underneath that I'm kind of curious about. Let's see if we can see what that says. I'm going to try to just pop some of the springs off. Oh, there you go. So PAC, so Pacifica 112. And this one is the J model, so I'm not sure, I can't quite read that. But anyway, Pacifica 112. So there you go. Um, it's on the headstock and it's also in the trim cavity. All right, so let's start our playing comparison. Now today I'm gonna to do something slightly different with our signal chain. Normally, you know, I'll plug into the Blue Angel amp and use some maybe high-end pedals with a couple really good mics. Today what we're gonna do is simplify things and kind of simulate, you know, what an average player would have. So we have a couple $200 kind of entry-level guitars. We're gonna use the Monoprice Stage Right tube amp. This is a $200 tube amp and we're gonna only mic it up with one mic and it's, you know, just a regular mic, nothing boutique about it or anything, uh, Sennheiser E906. So we're gonna keep our signal chain very basic and kind of simulate what the average player could get. 
So nothing fancy, no pedals, just these two guitars straight into that amp. So any clean tones, overdrive tones, and distortion tones will just be from this one $200 amp. Let's start with a comparison. We're gonna start on our neck pickups and work our way to the bridge. Let's check it out. So next up, let's check out the trem systems. These are notoriously bad on entry-level guitars, so it'll be interesting to see if one performs better than the other. Now in the past, I've done a video called From Just Brutal to Jeff Beck. Uh, you can check it out above where I go through you know, all the steps to make a lower end trem actually perform decently. So that's important. Um, but for now, what we're gonna do is just play some chords. I'm gonna start by just like bumping the bar a bit and then we're gonna kind of sync it and we're gonna check with the tuner to see which guitar performed the best. Next up, let's throw these two guitars in the mix. We're gonna do some short one minute solos.
All right, so here's my final thoughts and recommendations. Externally, I much prefer the Pacifica. I think it looks slightly more modern uh, without you know, going over the top. It still looks fairly classic, but just has a little bit more of a modern edge. Uh, Construction-wise, I think I would also tilt towards the Yamaha. Really, really nice playing guitar. I like the simplified controls of just the volume and the tone. I think the trim system does work slightly better. Uh, definitely needs a lot of tweaking. Um, but yeah, externally, construction, weight, balance, playability, I think goes to the Pacifica. Now that being said, internally, I much prefer the Squire. I think the pickups, for me anyway, sound much better. Still nice and full, but much more articulation. So if ever a guitar needed a pickup swap, I think it would be the Pacifica. Uh, the electronics seem really cheap. The pickups seem really cheap. Uh, so I much preferred the Squire in terms of tone, and I think internally, it's better made. Now, at the end of the day, there's a reason why both these models are so popular. They're absolutely fantastic guitars. For me, if you want sort of a mini super strat focused on playability, simplified controls, full width body, and all that kind of stuff, I would go with the Pacifica. If you want a more classic design uh, that has, in my opinion, better tone, I would go with the Squire. So let me know in the comments below which guitar you guys thought was the best. I'd love to hear from you guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. You can check out the t-shirt store and my tab store in the video description below. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you guys next week with a new video.